I need to get some new t-shirts. Seriously. Hey guys, it's Wednesday, and that is the day before Thanksgiving, so Thanksgiving Eve. And normally this time of year, everyone reflects upon what they're thankful for. And people do videos about things I'm thankful for, things I'm grateful for, and I'm not going to do that this year. Instead, I'm stealing this idea from Stevie NYC, who did a video about things he's not grateful for. So here are 10 things I'm not grateful for this year. Number one, overcrowded subways. Ugh. So many people. Squished in. Hot. Sweaty. Gross. Nasty. Blah. Number two, clueless people. People who have no self-awareness about themselves and pay no attention to anyone around them and have no respect for others in their general vicinity. Rude and disrespectful. Three, stubbing my toe. I've stubbed my toe a number of times here on the end of my bed, on the bottom of my bathroom vanity. Ouch. Ouch. Number four, global warming. Come on, you guys. It's the day before Thanksgiving and it's like 50 some degrees out. How can I wear cute sweaters and layers when it's that warm out? And the polar ice caps are melting too. So that's not good. Think of the polar bears. Five, packaging that's difficult to open. If it requires a knife or a scissors, I'm just over it. Like, come on people. It's 2015. We can invent packaging that's easy to open. It shouldn't be that difficult. Six, it's fall. And what do you eat in the fall? Apples. And what happens when you're all excited to eat a crispy, delicious apple and you bite into it and it's all mealy and gross. Ugh. So I'm not grateful for mealy apples. Seven. People who inflict terror and fear in others. Ugh. That's all I have to say about that. Number eight. Long lines at Trader Joe's. Seriously, when I go into the store and the line to check out starts at the front of the store and snakes through the store and you basically have to get in line and shop while you're in line. No, not grateful for that. Number nine, eczema. It does get very dry here in New York in the fall and winter and then I get eczema on the back of my hand and on my elbows generally. And that crap itches. It drives me bonkers but they make creams for that stuff, so that's good. And number 10, the thing I'm probably least grateful for is the fact that holidays, pretty much in America, and I'm not sure about this in other countries, but in America mainly, I'm just speaking, the holidays are all about shopping and consumption and buying things that you probably don't even need. So on Thanksgiving, people will get together with their friends and families. They'll go around the dining table before they eat and say all the things they're thankful for and how grateful for their friends and family are. And then they'll clean up, do the dishes, and go to Walmart and buy crap. Seriously, people. Seriously, can we just not anymore with the shopping and the holidays? Can stores just be closed? Can people who work at those stores actually spend time with their friends and family? That would be really, really nice. Those are 10 things I'm not grateful for this year, for Thanksgiving. Maybe this will be a tradition. The day before Thanksgiving, I talk about the things I'm not grateful for this year. So let me know in the comments down below things you're not grateful for. I would like to know. Other than that, thanks for watching. Remember, daydreaming mainly to reality. Have a good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye! That is... Those are... What? Yeah. There was a cute boy that worked there, and we talked, but we never really talked. We didn't really hang out ever, and... I found out eventually at some point that he had a crush on me, but by then I